Welcome to CE101 and today's topic is determining if the beam is determinate, indeterminate, or unstable. So first thing is deter determinate beams. So determinate beams can be solved using equilibrium equations. And these equilibrium equations are the summation of moments, summation of forces along x-axis, and the summation of forces along y-axis. And the formula for determinate beams is U is equal to E. So U is the number of unknowns in the given problem, and E is the number of equilibrium equations used in the given problem. For you to know more, we are going to move on for an example. For example number one, we have a simply supported beam and to classify if it is determinate, indeterminate or unstable we have the formula R blank 3n so R in this formula is the number of reactions and the 3 in this formula is a constant and n is the number of segments of the beam. So this formula is applicable when classifying the beam if it is determinate, indeterminate, or unstable. So in this problem, we have to classify U is the R and E is the 3N. So R in this problem is the reaction supports. So we have a reaction support of 2 and that is a pin and a roller. So a pin has two reactions, a vertical reaction and a horizontal reaction. And for the roller, we have a perpendicular reaction that is only one. So all in all, we have three reactions. One, two, and three. So we have three reactions for R. So in 3N, we have three as a constant. And times N for the number of segments on that beam. So we have one segment because it is only one straight beam. So we have three times one, we have three. So therefore, U and E is three is equal to three. Therefore, this is a determinate beam. Next is indeterminate beams. Indeterminate beams cannot be solved by using only equilibrium equations and must be supported by a supporting equation. The formula for classifying if it is indeterminate is U is greater than E. In indeterminate beams, we cannot just classify if it is indeterminate. We have also a supporting degree so and that is called a degree of indeterminacy and the formula for the degree of determinacy is u minus e For you to know more, we are moving on an example. For example number two. In this example, we have a continuous beam. For this problem, we also use the formula R Planck 3N. So in this formula, we also use the R as U and the E is 3N. So R in this equation, or in this problem rather, is 
this is a pin so this consists of two and this is also a pin this also consists of two reactions and this is a roller which consists of one reaction all in all we have one two three four and five reactions so for the e we have three n three for a constant times the number of segments of the beam so we don't see a segment in this beam so it is a continuous beam so therefore it is only one segment so we have three so therefore u and e in this problem is five blank three therefore five is greater than three therefore this is indeterminate but we are not yet finished we are going to use the degree of indeterminacy in this problem and the formula for the degree of indeterminacy is u minus e so the u in this problem is 5 minus the e in this problem is 3 and that is equal to 2 degree so we are going to add, just add the 2 degree in the answer therefore the answer is in the, this answer is for the beam on the problem and determine it on the 2 degree lastly we have unstable beams so unstable beams from the word itself the beam is unstable and cannot be built because of missing unknowns so we have the formula to classify if it is an unstable beam so we have unknowns or the number of unknowns in the given problem is less than the number of equilibrium equations in that problem for more for you to understand we have an example example number three we have this given beam so we have to classify if it is determinate indeterminate or unstable so we have to use the formula r blank 3n and we use r for u and 3n for e so r is the number of reactions so we have a reaction right here in this roller support a roller support has one reaction and is perpendicular to the roller and we have also a reaction right here which is a pin we have two reactions a horizontal reaction and a vertical reaction so we have two reactions so all in all we have one two three reactions so in e we have 3n we take out the constant times the number of segments the number of seg the number of segments vary in this problem because we have an internal support in this part of the beam so therefore we have two segments of this given beam so we can say that we have two for the n so three times two we have six so therefore u and e in this problem is three blank six so therefore we can clearly say that three is less than six so therefore we have a final answer that is given to this problem that the final answer is unstable.